three things that stood out in terms of differentiating uh, factor was uh, that need for choice voice and agency these three things are sort of pillars of any empowerment the way uh, the technology is developing uh, and you know the way the kind of world we are imagining when most of the work that we do will be replaced very quickly by computers yes so in this changing world what we need to learn most is to be human and to be human is to be empathetic to understand other person's point of view yeah and i don't think any other b school can provide that in the manner in which irma does you know it just throws you out there in the middle of the people living with them and i'm not saying that it we you know need to understand only rural people but the way we understand rural and other segment the uh, you know the same learning can be applied to any of the segments that you do yeah. and i think irma teaches you that distinguishing factor which will stand out in the coming years and i think that would be our differentiating factor any business is very tough you know yes. because um uh, in terms of you know you have to have a product which somebody is willing to pay for you need to continue to remain relevant yes. and and it uh, becomes far more challenging for pro social business uh partly because your consumer and customers are different many times Absolutely. people using the services are not the people paying for it right uh, so that sometimes become very challenging for uh, pro social business but i think the kind of grounding that you get uh, in irma about see the management education is at par with any business school yeah but it comes with an added understanding of a set of people you would otherwise not interact with yeah right so combined that makes a very equipped to handle any business especially the pro social business which comes with a lot more challenges more and more leaders will be required to be empathetic rather than those alpha male kind of stereotypes we are used to having uh when we talk of driving moving ahead with the cause that is social uh, to a very large extent uh how would you describe that feeling in one word mm-hmm. satisfying because at the end of the day you feel yes of course you helped yourself that's why you did whatever you did but you also managed to maybe change someone's li- somebody else's life see hirma is uh, according to me a very very unique institute uh because it combines two streams of uh, knowledge or work one is the rural uh, domain uh, and the other is the uh, part where there is the element of developmental intervention uh doing something which will actually make a difference to the society at large and there are very very few institutes in the country which offer this uh, you know unique combo of being both Uh, trainers uh, both from a, uh, a you know a subject point of view as well as from a uh, on ground point of view considering the uh, the opportunities that are there in the rural agri domain so to that extent it is very very unique and especially for people who would like to make a career in something to do with rural agri it is of course the best uh, place uh, activities happen rather than pure uh, development projects where they will just give some money or grant and till the time that money is there the project is there but then nothing happens after that so irma is uh, very well positioned that uh, you know th- th- there are these opportunities all around uh and there are very few institutes which will actually cater to this opportunity mm-hmm. and you can be at the cutting edge of knowledge whether it's marketing whether it's finance whether it's digital technology so much needs to be done you know in the in the agri domain so professionally as well yeah. it's a very good uh, i would say satisfying opportunity for somebody if somebody would like to make a career either through a job or through you know your, your own uh, entrepreneurial venture i think that that entire exposure of getting uh, uh, you know uh, seeing things on ground 
uh, working in rural areas, working with rural people, trying to at least academically, theoretically, if not practically, trying to solve the problems. It could be related to supply chain, it could be related to rural development, it could be related to marketing, it could be related to technology. But once the uh, impact is there on uh, people, as Dr. Kurian used to say, who need that the most, you know, more than anybody else. So if you are doing something where you are able to serve people who need it the most, uh, that brings in uh, some kind of a personality change. And, uh, you know, so, so I think that is a very, very uh, unique part of the uh, IRMA curriculum and the IRMA way of training which no other institute offers and that remains with you for the rest of your life and at the back of your uh, mind or inside your head and that helps you in a very big way in the in the long run and that gives you a lot of you know professional satisfaction as well in the long run. So coming back to college here IRMA after 35 years uh, I think uh, and look at a long span of uh, career yeah. what uh, when you look back you realize that the communication part of it was very relevant mm -hmm. and when you take a leading roles like a CEO role mm -hmm. uh, uh, then you will whatever has been taught will start coming back a little okay. bit of uh, uh, system that you have learned a little bit of uh, what you call operation management that you studied mm -hmm. uh, so all the all the things that have that you have studied because when you grow up to the CEO level you are an expert in one field yeah but once you become then you have to it's take care of all the uh, a little bit of marketing that you know so all the functions will come back so I think uh, there is a lot of relevance may not be immediately when you pass out but mm. uh, once you grow in the career after 10 15 years you start realizing the value of the in my education second thing that i often say and uh, and it's very important mm -hmm. is the field study that uh, irma makes you undergo yeah. that is the staying in the indian villages uh, on and off i think that brings in a two things one is an understanding of the ground realities mm. how the rural india and uh, not only as a market but even as a buyer uh, for various industries how it works how 70 80 percent of Indian uh, consumers are from rural India, yeah. dependent yeah. Uh, on rural India, how the price fluctuations affect the demand sensitivity, mm. uh, especially in a essential commodities uh, sector. So all these things become uh, very important in terms of rural understanding of the rural markets. Uh, I believe that uh, Irman uh, grows up uh, to be with a little bit of empathy yeah. to yeah. the ground reality. I really love this place. I think, I think, uh, uh, you know, I always believe that Irma has connected us with Bharat and, uh, you know, uh, it has grounded us. We are so down to earth, uh, you know, our, our, our in our career, I think VFS getting connected with rural India, uh, working in an organization, uh, sorry, studying in a place uh, where it is believed that you, you know, our, your life and your career is devoted to a purpose. I think that helps you so much. So I, I feel very fortunate that I have been at Irma, honestly. So I think uh, Irma, in a way, does a great job at, you know, Indianizing the management practice and theory. Okay. So that has helped us because uh, in, in our, in our uh, you know, journey, who do we deal with? We deal with Indian consumers and the stories which you, uh, you know, here in Irma about building a brand Amol, hmm. about understanding Indian consumers is so handy in your real life. Then you deal with farmers when you are working in retail, you deal with commodities. I think the background of agri commodities also helps you. So Irma prepares uh, us very well as grounded uh, people who can handle all sorts of things. As someone who has always lived in a society, Irma provided me with the opportunity to experience rurality both inside and outside the classroom through VFS experience. I got to learn what rurality is all about and the kind of problems that exist as well as the ground realities through the VFS experience. I now wish to be a part of the solution rather than the problems as by joining up a socially conscious organization or a development sector organization and create a positive impact that I believe would be the greatest contribution to the legacy of IRMA. So VFS is one of the unique experience provided by IRMA and it is very close to my heart. And uh, this is one of the primary reasons uh, why I chose IRMA. And this VFS will give, me, give us a, a big change in lens towards the concept of rurality. And the market opportunities and the market gaps that rural India has 
is the future of uh, any any business solutions and i'm very much glad to be a part, part in the future and i'm going to work towards it in M in irma we call our mba an mba plus because it does not only prepare us for the business market but prepares us for the rural india as well as our core states it is rural management and we know that india is 60% rural yet so our course equips us with those tools that will help us to work alike in rural and urban setup and that's why we are the future of this country i hope that anyone who is watching this video gets gets inspired to join nirma so one trimester and one vfs later i think i have grasped some of what it means to be irman in true sense to just not experience rurality but to live the lives of 70% of what of 70% of indians and i'm grateful that i'm a part of an institution that not only guide provides the guidance but also the opportunities and motivation to assist the underserved strata of the society and i hope that i along with my fellow irmans will contribute to bring about positive changes in the underserved strata of the society by participating in social entrepreneurship or policy making thank you often people say that to know and learn about rural staying in rural is very important through the vfs segment which irma offers it helped me develop a new perspective overall from finding a problem analyzing a problem and finding its solution the on field experience which irma offered helped me uh, made the process more simpler thank you um, it is easy to sympathize but being there helps uh, to empathize and being an airman will allow me to work for them uh, by getting into their shoes and uh, uh, solving uh, solving their problems be it development related or bringing in economic opportunities i now understand their needs and uh, limitations and will work around it to ensure best possible solution uh, that for me is what being an airman all about